In the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use subs import to create karaoke style subtitles for movies or music. So the first thing you'll do is go to this web page. I'll leave a link to it in the description. You'll click on clone or download and download the zip file. And I'll save it to my desktop. All right. So once we have the add-on downloaded, then we'll open up Blender and I'll go to File, User Preferences, Install from File, and Desktop, and then I'll double click this zip file to install the add-on. All right, and then I'll click this checkbox to enable it and then save user settings. So that way it'll show up every time I open up Blender. So once you've done that, you should notice in the video editing section of Blender, on the right hand side, you'll see uh, this section here called Subs Import. And it has a whole bunch of bun buttons and all that sort of thing. And I'll show you how, what all of them do. And the first thing you'll do after you have the add-on installed is, uh, first off, choose what song you want to create subtitles for. I've chosen The River of Dreams by Billy Joel. And uh, what you do is you go to uh, Google or whatever, you type in Billy Joel, River of Dreams lyrics. And uh, I'll just click this one here, open it up. All right, so here's all the lyrics for the song. And I'll just go through and highlight all of the lyrics and paste them into a text editor. And then I like to get rid of these spaces here. And what's going to happen is each of these lines is going to be turned into a separate uh, subtitle section. Okay, so I've actually already done this. I'm just showing you what I do. And I, I, list, I went through the, the lyrics and I listened to the song and I kind of added some of the oohs and ahs and all that sort of thing and make sure that all the words were correct. So once I've got all of the words to the song right in this text file, then I can use subs import to import uh, the lyrics into Blender. So here's the big import button. You'll notice that it'll handle uh, .txt files, .lrc, or .srt files. And so of the three of them, only .txt files uh, don't have any timing associated with any of the text. So what's going to happen is uh, when you import this, each of the lines of text is just going to be made into a, a strip lasting one second long, but it won't be aligned to any music because it just doesn't know how. That's what our job is. That's what we have to do. So after we've imported all of the text, then we need to bring in our music so that we can line it up with the text. One thing too that I recommend is uh, changing the frame rate from 24 seconds to uh, to something much higher because the higher you go, the more freedom you have. You can actually go all the way up to a thousand if you go to custom, change this to 100, and then change this to 0.1, and you'll notice that changes it to 1,000 frames per second. You don't have to. Uh, usually, what I do is just leave it at 100 frames per second when I'm uh, doing this. It just gives me a lot more freedom for uh, where to set the timing. Um, there's more information on that on the GitHub page on why that is, but I like to just leave the frame rate at 100 frames per second before I do any editing of this. So I could just drag in the song and start syncing up the, the lyrics to the song, but actually what I like to do to make it a lot easier is I, I uh, reduce the dura or, uh, the uh, I change the speed of the song to about 50% of the original. So I'm going to open up Audacity. And when we change the speed to a slower amount, uh, it makes it a lot easier to line up the text to the song. So I'm going to highlight everything by clicking over here, then go to Effect, uh, Change Speed to 50%, and click OK. And once that's all done, if you played through it, you'll notice he sounds kind of like a zombie playing or singing this song. But it's going to be a lot easier for us once, we, once we're lining up our text. So I'll highlight everything again, go to File, Export, well, I'll just export audio to Desktop, and I'll change this to a .wav file, and uh, maybe I'll just add in a underscore uh, slow, just so I know that it's the slowed down version, and save it. All right, so now it has created this .wav file that we can drag into Blender. I like waves too because they don't have any compression to them, so Blender has a really nice time uh, with playing it through really easily and quickly. So um, I'm going to drag it in, but actually I want to put all of my lyrics above the song, so I'm just going to grab them all and raise them up to channel 1. Okay. So now I'm going to add in the song, 
and I'll, I'll uh, move the current time indicator to the first frame or frame one by pressing shift left arrow key and then add in the song and that's added in. So now I like to be able to see the waveform of the song. So when, with my song highlighted, I'll scroll till I see something that says draw waveform. So I'll check that box. And now you can see that the waveform for the whole song is visible to us. I'm also going to set the start and end times for the song. Uh, you can do that down here. I just use a little shortcut that I made to do that for me. So it sets the start and end times. So now it'll play through when I press Alt A. <laughs> All right, and also one thing that subs import does when you import a song it automatically sets uh, I think it's in playback. It sets these three things audio scrubbing AV sync and frame dropping It enables all of those because they're really important for the job that we're about to do So that means that when I scrub through this it's gonna You'll hear like little bits of the song Okay, so one thing that I like to do is take all of the subtitles and I'll highlight or I'll just highlight the subtitles and then move them to the end of the song. And it's also very important you'll notice that all of our subtitles here are on channel um I think they're on channel 1. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So here's channel 1. This is our song. Our subtitles are actually on channel 2. You can see right here is two subtitles are on channel 2. So what I'm going to do is go to the subs import edit channel and when you import subtitles it automatically changes this value but if you noticed I moved these from channel 1 to channel 2 so I'm going to change this to 2 so that way our add-on knows what channel our subtitles are located on. So once we have all of our subtitles loaded in um, oh yeah I wanted to explain something too if you notice uh, each of these these uh, subtitles is a text strip so if I select one of these guys and I go up you can see that the size for it is set to 70. That's actually not the default. You can change all of the subtitle sizes by changing this value here and then clicking this refresh value. So if I wanted to make them all bigger, I could say 100 and then click the refresh button and it makes them all bigger. But I kind of like 70 to be honest with you, so I'll just uh, leave it at 70. So once our subtitles are added in, then what we can do is uh, just start playing through our song and using the keyboard shortcuts to line each of them up with the song. So, uh, let's see. As soon as he starts going woo 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 woo, then I'll, I'll press the uh, S key to start. Oh, there it is. And I just press the button just as soon as he starts singing and if I know the song pretty well I can end up just getting this whole all the way done um, pretty much by just clicking or pressing the keyboards as I listen to it so I'll just keep going here oh whoops okay I screwed that one up all right should go there all right so I press the D key to do that you can see a guide on the uh, if I go back to that GitHub page. There's a whole guide on the bottom about the keyboard shortcuts and what they do, how they move the subtitles around. Once you know how to use them and once you've practiced with them, you can do this pretty quickly. So anyway, uh, you go through the whole song using the keyboard shortcuts to line them all up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll catch up with you and uh, we'll keep going with this tutorial. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I've gone through the entire song and I've lined up each of these text strips with the song. So now it kind of looks like this. I'll press Alt A to play. All right, so you can see that each of the strips has been lined up to the song and for a lot of people, this is far enough. They're willing to stop and, and totally you, what you could do is uh, export the subtitles from here and you'd have great subtitles for your song. Uh, and if, if that's what you want, here's what you do. So you can see that our subtitles are actually lined up to this really slow version of the song. So what then I can do is uh, click this button, duration divided by two. And there, now our subtitles are lined up for for the original song. So once all of these have been changed to where the original song is, then I would click on export SRT 
and call it something like uh, the river of dreams.srt and export it. And then if I were to play uh, the river of dreams in VLC, go to uh, visualization spectrometer, you can see that the song now has the subtitles playing with it, and that's great. But if you want to align each of the syllables to the song, then let's keep going. So here's I'm going to press Control Z so that we get back to uh, the alignment that I had before. And so if you want to line up each of the syllables to the song, the first step is to separate each of the words by syllable. And Subsimport has this really cool tool called Syllabify, and it's going to go through each of the words of the song and separate them. And it uses a dictionary of, of words and and then also an algorithm. And the algorithm depends on what language you're using. I'm using English, so I'll leave that there, but you could change this to other languages as well. So once you uh, are ready, you click on Syllabify, and uh, desktop, I'll, do, I'll just call it dict.txt, and uh, it creates a dictionary of the words of the song separated by syllables. So you can see here's all of the words alphabetized and they've all been separated by syllables. And actually this one did a pretty good job but a lot of the time you'll notice that maybe a word, for instance I know that the word middle has two syllables but sometimes the algorithm and the dictionary won't catch that and it'll just show me this. But as I'm going through and checking each of the words I say oh well middle I know has two syllables so I'm going to separate them like that. So now uh, once you once you go through your whole dictionary and you've checked each of the words and you feel pretty good about how it looks, you close this and uh, you go back into Blender. And once you've, uh, you see here it's got the path to that dictionary. So once it knows where all of the words are and how they should be split, then you can split. So I'll click this button and that does a couple of things. First thing it does, it goes to the, uh, it changes the subtitle edit channel from this channel to this channel, which is three. I'll just show you. So there's the third channel and that's where all of our new separated words are located. So I'll show you what this does. If we go into in the middle of the night right here, you can see that the first word of the segment is highlighted and then if you zoom in really close right here you can see that uh, all of the other words are also in there too but they all take up one frame at a time. So our job is to line up all of these other frames with the part of the segment where he says it. Uh, that sounds a little weird, but let me just show you what I mean. So as I'm playing through this, um, I'll press Alt-A, and I'll get ready to line up each of the syllables to the song by pressing the S key. So uh, I'll press Alt-A. So you see that? I just pressed the S key at the right times while I was playing through the song. So now that segment is done. And uh, and so I'm going to go through the entire song and line up all of the syllables with the song and then I'll come right back and we'll keep going. Alright, so I've gone through the whole song and I've marked the times for all of the syllables of the song and so what we need to do now is combine the syllables with the bass strips. So I'm going to make sure that the subtitle edit channel is on the line where all of the syllables are and then come down to this button here where it says combine and you're given the option of combining the words as an as a uh, enhanced SRT or an enhanced LRC. Uh, this is for something like if you have a if you're using some program that reads LRC files and that's what you'd want to use if you're using SRT file programs which is most things including VLC then use that. So I'm going to use SRT and I'm going to click on this so that's going to combine it. And so now if you look at the subtitles, it looks like it's messed everything up. It's got this weird uh, thing here. This is actually the color. You could have, if, uh, I should probably review that. So right now all of our words are being highlighted with this orange color. If I don't want it to be that, if I wanted it to be some green color or whatever, I could do that and click refresh. And now all of my words will be highlighted as green. But uh, I kind of like the orange personally, so uh, I'm going to right click and then do reset to default value and refresh. So all right, so I combine as a SRT file. And then one last step. So this is a really long version of our song. I want my subtitles to be to the original song. So I'll go up here, make sure that, oh yeah, when I click on combine, it changes the subtitle edit channel to two, so that's good. And then I'll change, I'll click this button here to change the duration back to its uh, original duration. 
All right, and then once I've got that done, I'm just going to export an SRT. And I'll call it the river of, wow, of dreams. There we go. And I'm going to overwrite the one that I wrote earlier. And so now if we go through and we look at this one, you can see that it's going to incrementally highlight each of the words or each of the syllables of the song. And uh, just to show you what that looks like here, uh, if I play the song in VLC, go to audio, visualization, spectrometer, and I'll skip to some part of the song where he is uh, singing, probably right here. In the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep, through the jungle of down. All right, looks pretty good. I think that's great. So that just about covers it for the tutorial. Uh, you can definitely experiment with other things, try using the LRC and other programs and all that sort of thing. But really, for the most part, that is how I create colorful subtitles for songs and for movies and that sort of thing. I hope you like the, the uh, subs import add-on. If you have any recommendations, you uh, can totally make uh, some comments on the GitHub page. Also, if you are interested in sharing whatever subtitles you create, you can actually uh, go here to the GitHub page, and uh, I have a folder for some of the subtitles that I've been making, uh, Billy Joel, The River of Dreams, and other artists as well. If you'd like to add your subtitles, uh, whether they be uh, enhanced SRTs or other formats, you're totally welcome to. Just examples for other people who might use this add-on, uh, you, can, you can share them here. So anyway, thanks for watching the tutorial, and I'll catch you later.